And we're live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. We're back here at Kayfabe Corner. Took a little bit of a hiatus, but I'm very excited to be back. I'm, of course, your host, JPO, Jordan Pierce Owens. As we chat with an up-and-comer in the world of professional wrestling, today we have Sean Holly. Sean, Sean Holly, Sean, how are you? Thank you, thank you. I'm doing great. Uh, Kevin does a little bit better. He gives me like a little bit of a John Moxley type introduction, but I'll, I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. Uh, we're not off to a good start already. He's saying Kevin does it better. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the end of the episode, folks. Hope you enjoyed the shortest ever episode of KJ4. We're not in the arena. And I'm a little sick, so I apologize. I didn't give you my I'm, all, Sean. I'm sorry. I do apologize. And, you know, I, I, I'll let it slide this time. All right. Let's, let's, let's start fresh. Let's start clean. Uh, literally, though, how are you? How are you feeling? You know, we're in crazy times still right now. How are you? Are you feeling good? You're good? What's up? I'm feeling as great as I can ever be. Um, my body's refreshed. Like, my body's 100%, you know. Um, Definitely trying out some new things in 2022. Um, and I can definitely feel the difference already with a couple weeks in. Um, and I, I'm ready to get going, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've never felt as good as I have in a very long time. Very nice. Very nice to hear. Uh, here's a new question on the show. Where are you? I am currently at work. So if you look behind me, like, you can see, like, go-karts that they're fixing and everything else like that. This is, like, my backup job on the side. Um, my actual job is actually a car dealership. Um, I actually work at Prestige Ford. So, you know, changing things up. I just I see some, some go-karts behind you, man. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this one's getting fixed. They decided to uh, run it straight into a wall. So now I got to take it apart and fix it. All right, let's start off at the very, very beginning. Um, <laughs> excuse me, I might cough a couple times. Um, where does wrestling start for you? And I don't even mean like professionally, uh, even before then, do you start off as a fan? Where does wrestling first come into your life in general? Uh, wrestling definitely starts off as a fan. Um, back when I was probably like four or five, like that's as much as I can probably remember. Um, just watching Monday Night Raw uh, back in the Attitude Era and, you know, just, just watching it with my dad and stuff like that. So it, it definitely definitely came from a childhood thing and it's just been a childhood dream so I pretty much did what a lot of people want to do is live their childhood dreams and uh crazy thing is I'm gonna go ahead and say it is um my name I was actually supposed to be called Sean Michaels Holly so I was actually supposed to be named after Sean Michaels but my dad wasn't for that so <laughs> I technically just got the Sean part but he broke it up but technically the Sean part technically almost originated from Sean Michaels. Oh man, I, I wish you were Sean Michaels. Uh, now, now that you said it, um, <laughs> uh, is is that your main guy? Who's who's like your number one guy growing up? Number one guy growing up, um, probably Edge. Like that, that's like probably my guy is Edge. Um, start starting, you know, like just his unique style, you know, just from where he came from and how he made it into the business and stuff like that, like. Definitely. Uh, another one would be Jeff Hardy, especially, you know, he's got no limits. You got, you've seen, you've seen how I wrestle. I have no limits either. Like I, I, I just don't take any caution. Whatever you get, it's coming to you. So, so where, where does the uh, wrestling journey begin uh, professionally? Where, where do you start off at? Uh, you know, it was, how old are you? I actually started when I was right about 18 going on to 19. Um, I started training. I've been in the business for five years now. It's crazy. Um, and I started out at my first show in a promotion. I won't speak about because a lot of us don't really get along with that promotion, but it is what it is. Um, I got my break there. And then I finally broke my way into uh, Riot Pro Wrestling, Pro Wrestling 2.0, real pro wrestling. And, you know, like just, just looking to get more shows under the belt, too. Um, but it, it all originated from a, a certain company that we, we won't speak about. Uh, you you kind of touched on it before, I think. Is Sean Holly the real name? Sean Holly is my real government name, yes. Um, with it being so unique and different, um, you, you don't have anybody, you know, really that has that name. So it, it, it's just 
an attention grabber. So I was like, rather than getting copyrighted names and you know coming up with silly names, I'd rather just be me and myself in the ring because my real life is what you see is what you get. So that's pretty much what you're getting in me in the ring. So nothing has changed whatsoever. And Sean Holly, yes, is my real name. Did, did you ever, like, I kind of feel like, again, you might have, maybe you're kind of said it already just now, but did you ever float any other ideas? Did you, did you like, like you said, you liked Holly, you thought it was unique enough. So did you ever have float any other ideas? Have any other names ever been given to you? Um, no, not really. Um, I, I pretty much just came in just the way I was and, um, it was unique. You know, you guys, you have your guys like Hardcore Holly, Crash Holly and stuff like that. So it's, it's a unique name. It's barely been used, but mine is spelled differently, obviously, but it was just unique and it, it's an attention grabber, like I said. So it, it just flowed very well. It flows off the tongue very nice. So I just stuck with it rather than, you know, coming up with like a weird name, like Count Dracula, Art, Artiga or something like that, like some weird random name. I just said, screw it. I'm just going to go with my real name and just run with it. Count Dracula? <laughs> I, I don't know. I was just coming up with something. I don't know. Uh, well, wait, what, what about Sean Moxley? Did I hear you get called that one time? <laughs> I was actually called Sean Moxley a couple times at a con show. Um, so, like, when we were at the con shows, technically, I would go under Sean Moxley because, as you know, like, the con shows, you know, it's, it's all about, you know, people who will cosplay you know dressed up and everything else like that and it's like it's a time where you can change your name technically and be cool so i'm a big fan of john moxley so i was just like making jokes and then uh ring announcer for real pro kevin rodriguez uh decided to go ahead and announce me as john moxley and literally do it just like how justin robert does it and it, it stuck around for a little bit until someone was like gotta stop only con shows <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Who said that? Who said they get a stop for only con shows? Uh, I believe it was you and Zach. Yeah, it was me, damn right. Stop uh, it. <laughs> uh, I'll let you know that. My bad. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> what are some of your favorite matches you've had? Ooh, um, up there right now is definitely going to be the Pandemonium match that we just recently had uh, this past year. Um, match of the year. Uh, the Booyah Club, myself and Sir Maverick Donovan versus the Gifted. Great tag team. Took us to our limits. Unfortunately, you know, they took the tag team titles from us that night. And um, that, that was a great match. And um, pretty much any match that I've had with Zach Monstar has, like, been up there. Because, like, we literally go balls to the wall and we give the fans a hardcore match the way a hardcore match should be. Um, and last but not least, definitely myself, Zach Monstar, and Sin Bodhi. We had a triple threat match in another promotion, and it was definitely a, a, a show stealer, without a doubt. How, how would you describe, I guess I can't even say your, your gimmick, because you kind of said it is, it's pretty much you. So who is mm -hmm. Sean Holly? Uh, Sean Holly is pretty much a no-limits guy. Um, like I said, what you see is what you get. Um, I, I'm willing to throw caution to the wind. I'm willing to put my body on the line to, you know, give the fans what they want and, you know, what they deserve. You know, they're paying to come see technically me and these the boys and girls, you know, who are busting their ass, giving us, like, everything that they have, you know. Like, we, we put our bodies on the line and we understand that and we do it for the fans because the fans, you know, deserve what we give. And that's pretty much what it is. I just – I'm just a no-limits guy. What you see is what you get. Like, and I'm not – I'm not worried about, you know, hurting myself or, you know, anything else like that to, you know, get where, get the win technically, you know, I'm, I'm willing to just put it all on the line. I, I kind of just brought it up. Uh, what is, have you had any big injuries? I, I've seen you obviously in several matches, as you said, throw your body all over the place, uh, coming off bars, ladder matches, pandemonium matches. Uh, I feel like you've, you've been okay so far though. What's, what's the worst injury you've had though? I think the worst injury is when I first got into the business. I think I was like maybe six to seven months in, and um, I was doing a uh, I was doing a flip off the rope, and uh, I broke my hand. Like I landed wrong because the guy had like lost his grip, and it literally broke my hand. Because if you actually look, I'm gonna take my ring off real quick. Hopefully my fiance doesn't see it, but um, you can see how my finger is actually bent here. It actually broke from here 
and then inside part of my hand, like inside of here, and it like it it took a few months to heal. Like it healed, but like couldn't say this, but I still wrestled with a broken hand, even though I was technically told by doctors not to do it. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not looking for any cheap plugs here, but uh, what are some of your favorite promotions that you like to work for? Uh, my favorite promotions as of right now are definitely Riot Pro Wrestling, Real Pro Wrestling. I should say Real Pro Wrestling, obviously, first, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> I know. Sorry. Sorry. But, um, yeah, definitely Riot and Real Pro right now. Um, there, there's a couple uh, shows coming up that are definitely going to be probably up there. Uh, and we have a new show that's coming up that uh, my buddy, his son is actually going to start running uh, called Urban Pro Wrestling uh, here in April. So definitely ready to kick that one off and, you know, start. Where's, where is that located? That is actually located in Central Florida. There's not an actual location for it yet, but I know they're going to be located in the Central Florida area oh. for sure. It's not, it's not a very yeah, special they're, they're not, they're not, they're not There the is Florida no area. address. You have to just know. <laughs> you have to go. Uh, uh, you mentioned some of your favorite matches you've had. What about some matches you haven't had yet that you really want? Who's on your bucket list? And let's first start, uh, like local Florida, you know, indie guys. Like, you know, who's on your bucket list? On well, my bucket list for Central Florida guys, um, geez, there's, there's a lot of them. That's the problem. Um, pretty much anybody, honestly. I'll wrestle anybody male or female, you know, like, it's, a, it's an equal base, you know, sport, so I, I'm willing to wrestle anybody, like, I, I'm not going to put out any certain names, like, I, I'll wrestle anybody at any time. Gun to head, I want some names. You want some names? All right, so name, we already know I fought man. Zach. We, are, we already know Zach, I, like, I'll, I'll fight Zach every, every you show. You haven't night. fought, you've, you've, you and Zach have murdered fought. each other already. Ugh. All right, so this is going to be bad, but I want to wrestle Sir Maverick Donovan, my tag team partner, because he's great. Um, Bud Heavy. Uh, Remy, I've fought Remy. Um, JD Amazing. JDX. Um, Death Row Jeff Row, for sure, and Vertigo. Those are, those are technically top of the, top of the line right now. Very nice, very nice. Now let's go even bigger. No limits. Who 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 would be a couple of your dream opponents? Like the do forbidden door is open. Who's your dream opponent? Forbidden door is open. Uh, so we're already going to go ahead and say this. Screw it. Um, Darby Allen for sure. One. Uh, Jeff Hardy. Um, Edge. You know that that's my. Uh, you know, it's definitely a huge thing Jeff Hardy you know because I like I said he's one of my, my dream guys um Randy Orton because he's been around the business forever and um hmm, Cody Rhodes I'm, I'm, I, I, like, I've heard a lot of good stuff about Cody wrestling uh Kenny Omega um Will Ospreay um Funny Bone I think that's it as I, that I can think of right now. I'm like, there, there's so many wrestlers that I would wrestle if that forbidden door was open. But, you know, those are the ones I would go for right now. And Ryzen. Ryzen, of course. Ryzen. There we go. I, I was showing Zach the other day a uh, ridiculously old and low Darby Allen booking fee. And I was like, look, how, look, at one point we could have had him. And uh, he was like, what we could have? I was like, I told you. <laughs> uh, you probably can't even get a signed action figure. Uh, for as much as that fee used to be, so just you know, you never know where people are gonna go. Um, speaking of going in wrestling, let's jump ahead into the time machine, into the DeLorean. Where do you see Sean Holly in five years? Five years, I'm hoping to be somewhere like AEW, Impact Wrestling, um, NWA. A lot of guys will tell you they want to wrestle WWE. I I am a guy who is totally against going to WWE. Um, I just never really had the fascination of going to WWE. Um, I just feel, you know, like once you get to that part, it's not, nothing is creative to you at that point. It's all taken away from you. You have to do and be told what to do. What you're saying is being pretty much handed to you in a script. And it's just like, that takes the fun out of it. You know, like you're not showing your true self. You're showing a character that they want you to portray. So it's like, 
yeah, like it, it doesn't, you know, like the fun would stop at that point. I just, just even one second. Yeah, Laurinaitis, he's not interested. No, no, no. <laughs> he said no. All right. All right. Uh, a bunch of cuts. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they're throwing people out left and right, so <laughs> wouldn't be surprised. Uh, let's picture this. It's uh, the, the show's done. You know, fans are coming up to you. Uh, a young mm-hmm. kid comes up to you, let's say 15, 16, and he says, Mr. Holly, I love your match. Uh, I, I want to be a wrestler too. What kind of advice do you give somebody just starting off in the wrestling business? Uh, just make sure that your head's fully into it, that you, you that's what you for sure want to do. So just don't get into it just to get into it. It's cool. Um, because this business will take time out of your life. Um, you'll have to miss birthdays. You'll have to miss anniversaries. Like, there's a lot of big things that you have to miss in this life. So as long as you put your head to it and that's really what your dream is and what you really want to do, then by all means, go for it. Like, I was a kid that was, you know, like a lot of us know, like my arms messed up. Like, I don't have two normal length arms. I was told I would never make it. Like, I would never be able to get booked on shows and everything like that. But it's like, here I am now. Like, nothing is technically impossible to do as long as you put your mind to it. So, like, that's the way I look at it nowadays. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, one of the most important questions I always like to ask on here is, have you seen any good movies lately? Any good movies lately? Um, even if it's not necessarily, like, a late movie, like, you know, even if it's just something you saw for the first time, what's a good movie? What's a recommendation from recent viewings? Uh, the Lost Sun. Is actually a good one. It's like a wild, what is that? wild west. It's like a wild, wild west cowboy type movie. Um, only reason I technically watch it is because Colson Baker's in it. Stage name MGK. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. It. So it's actually a very, very good movie. I'm like, wow, like this is pretty impressive. Like I'm not usually into those type of movies, but it was actually a uh, eye opener to some like new genre to watch. Yeah, the guy that fought uh, Kevin Owens once, M- MGK. Uh, <laughs> really fight we got power bombed, unfortunately, but it's all right. Do you, do you have any 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 plugs, uh, merch, upcoming events where people can find you, where people can book you? Uh, yeah, you have Sean Hawley on Facebook. You can find me. I have a picture uh, with me, Zach, and the whole unsafe order. Um, Instagram is Sean Hawley. Oh no, it's Sean on underscore Holly six. And um yeah, well, did I lose you? We're good. I always heard you. Okay. I just lost your picture, but you're back. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Um, and yes, you know, like um we usually don't do merch like online, but like I'm starting to get merch in, like I'm getting ideas, like I'm starting to free flow it. Um, but my tag team partner, RJD, um Art, you can hit up RJ at RJ Anthony, I think it is. You can uh, message him on Facebook and uh, get a Blue Yacht Club shirt. Um, I have one. And I, be- I believe Zach is going to be making unsafe order shirts. Um, uh, I believe sure Zach's going to show me for it. Oh, it'll probably come. It'll probably come. Uh, sure. <laughs> Uh, any, 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 right any, any future plugs? <laughs> Where can people see you live? Uh, you can see me live March 6th at Real Pro Wrestling at the Con Show. You can definitely pick me up there. Um, probably hear me introduce as Sean Moxley that night. Um, I believe April 20th is going to be the UPW uh, startup, I believe is what it was, March, April 20th. Um, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you'll definitely see the actual per official announcement of it. Um, and riot here soon. They haven't given me a date yet, but I know it's becoming soon. Well, M- March March nineteenth, Sean. March nineteenth. March nineteenth for riot. All right. No, 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 no. no. What's on March nineteenth? March nineteenth for oh, March nineteenth is the other real pro show. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, there's one on March nineteenth too. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. Was, yeah. March sixth and March nineteenth. I'm sorry. Uh, any any final words? Uh, advice? Uh, sayings? I, what's the last thing you want to leave the audience with? Uh, pretty much, just, you know, thank you. If you support me, if you hate me, then thank you too. You know, technically you hate me. You're still, you know, technically giving me some love. 
Um, so I just want to thank Jordan for allowing me on this show and uh, definitely look forward to having another interaction with Jordan, hopefully soon. And uh, yeah, just appreciate you guys tuning in. All right, well, he didn't like his intro. Let's see if I can <laughs> do a better yeah. outro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was JPO. That was Sean Foley. Is that hey, good? There you go. Really? There you go. That's better. There you go. That's good. I like that. There we go. Screw Kevin. <laughs> uh, I don't, that. don't hurt me, Kevin. All right, so this was Kayfabe Corner. JPO, Sean Holly. Thank you. Like, subscribe. If you didn't like it, uh, tell an enemy. You did uh, tell yourself. What? I don't know. I don't have a good outro. Good night. <laughs>